ending St. John chapter 4. As you're finding St. John chapter 4, I want to thank you all for not leaving when you saw that Pastor Bill wasn't preaching. Amen. I appreciate that. To our resident miracle. Amen. 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 Sister Bill, our resident miracle. Yes, All right. I tell, you what, I tell you what, if you don't believe in miracles, yeah. just call her. Amen. Amen. That's it. Miracles, just right. A few of you all, I've been, I, I don't like to sit in the pulpit, but a few of you all, since I've been sitting up here, you have not smiled yet. <laughs> My Lord. You haven't smiled yet. So just smile at somebody. Let me tell you what, let me tell you about that smile. A smile is the most inexpensive way to improve your looks. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just smile. You have something to smile about. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're in St. John chapter 4, meet me at verse 24. All right. Meet me at verse 24. Father, I pray that you would speak to me, that you may speak through me, that your people may be blessed. In the name of Jesus, we pray. With our sins forgiven, we ask. Amen. 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 For those of you who've come carrying your the King James version of your Bible, on the count of three, we want to read a certain part of John chapter four, verse twenty-four. Is everybody there? Amen. 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 On the count of three, a certain a, a, a certain part of this verse. Okay. On the count of three, one, two, three. God is God. <laughs> it may be sin. God. Okay, go ahead. For the time that we share, I like to lift this subject. A few thoughts about God. Amen. A few thoughts about God. All right. The King James Version of the Bible has 31,102 words in it. The King James Version of the Bible. Of those 31,102 words, 4,473 of those words are the word God. 31,000 words. Of those 31,000, over 4,000 of those words is the word God. Because there are so many references to the word God, over 4,000 of them, in order for us to better understand the nature of God, we have to institute what theologians call the principle of expositional constancy. The principle of expositional constancy. Expositional constancy is simply this. Look how many times you see the word God, how constant it is, and it will tell you the meaning of God. All right. For it helps us with the definition, the purpose, and the workings of God. God who we first see in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, who we first see in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Who am I talking about? God. God. It's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, where the Bible never debates the existence of God, it states mm -hmm. the existence of God. All right. All right. For the Bible began with, in the beginning, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that was a good place to give me some amen. All right amen. now. In the beginning, God. God. Yeah, that's it. Amen. The beginning began with God. 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 All right. All right. All right. In the beginning, the Bible says God. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Now, dear hearts, if the Bible 
can begin <laughs> with God. Uh -huh. You ought not start your day out mm. unless you start your day out with God. Yes. You ought not start your relationship off uh -huh. unless you start your relationship off with God. Yes. You ought not start your job off yes. unless you get to that job and start that job off with God. Yeah. All right. God. Yeah. The beginner of the beginning. Yes. All right. Who is he? God. God. The uncaused first cause. Who is he? God. God. The ultimate designer of the universe. Mm -hmm. is, 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 is who we talking about? God. 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 Yes. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. God. Yeah. 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 Yes. Sister Clara. Clary. God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one who put wetness in water. All right. Yeah. 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 God. Yeah. The one who put gripping in your fingers. Yes. Yes. God. Yeah. The one who put the whiteness in the snow. Right. Uh-huh. God. Yes, sir. Yeah. The one who put balance in your toes. Ah, yeah. my, my, my. God. Oh, God. The one whose habitation is everywhere. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yet his limitation is nowhere. All right. All right. All right. All right. God. All right. He did not fill out an application to be God. All right. All right. Before there was a when or a where, there was All right. God. All yeah. right. All right. He, 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 there's, there's no motion to put him back into office. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you vote for him or not, yeah. he's still yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, he did not just get here. He been here before been here got here. And when been here leave here, he's gonna be here. God. All right, Bowden. All right. There's a few things about God that this particular text tells us. The first thing that this text tells us about God. It's going to throw a hook in this thing. Hmm. And the number one thing is the real name of God. Hmm. Point number one, the real name of God. Now this may not be something you've ever heard, B. Hmm. But God God is not his name. Mm. 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 <laughs> Didn't know if somebody was going to throw something at me. Uh, come, <laughs> come on. God is not his name. Mm -hmm. God is his title. All right, all right. All right now. All right. God means the becoming one. Or that which you need to become, him to become, he can. Uh huh. Don't believe me? In Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, when it was asked, Who should we say sent us? Hmm. He says, I, I am, am that I am. Yeah. All right. So he sort of gives you a blank check yeah. so you can determine what that. That is. Yeah, right. That's why. So God, the becoming one, when he says, I am, that I am, he's telling you, what do you need me to be for that moment? Right. I will become. All right. So you need healing? I am that. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, I am. Yeah. Amen. You need money? I am that. 
All right. Yes, I am. Because he is the becoming one. Now, you also know, number two, that God is not his name. Watch this. And if you're guilty, just look away. Because God can't be his name because a lot of people put a curse word behind that name. Amen. Didn't get a whole lot of amen. Uh -huh. So God can never be cursed. Amen. So that cannot be his name. All right. The third thing I want to share with you about God and that being a title and not his name is this. Many people say they don't trust God. The atheists say that they don't trust God because God backwards is dog. Uh -huh. All right. God backwards is dog. And God just, he look, look at it. God is so smart, there's nothing new he would ever learn. All right. And he knew that atheists was going to say God is dog backwards. He knew that ignorant person was going to say God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, so he couldn't, he couldn't have that. Mm -hmm. All right. So the same person, though, who called himself a stock, don't know that that's rats backwards. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, right. So God is not his name. God is his title. Amen. The becoming one. If you want to find out where God's name is, look in the 68th number of Psalms, verse 4. Amen. Where it says, I will praise him by his name, Yah. All right. I didn't expect nobody to shout hallelujah on that one. Yeah. I will praise him by his name, Yah. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I will praise him by his name, Yah. Yeah. All right. We bow down your alley here a minute. <laughs> That's where we get the word hallelujah. Yeah. From. Amen. Holly and halal means to celebrate. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So when you say hallelujah, that means you are celebrating God. Amen. Teach, what the book teach. Says. That's the book. Mm -hmm. So you should not be saying, Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You ought to say it loud. You ought to say it loud because it's a celebration. And you tell me, when was the last time you went to a celebration and closed your mouth? Yes, sir. Amen. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word halal, halal, hallelujah. The word, watch this. Yes, sir. It's the Greek word where we get Satan from. All right. His Greek name is Halal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you see it in the book of Ezekiel and Isaiah where Satan used to be ch in charge of the heavenly choir. Yes, sir. Till God put him out. Until God kicked him out. With the electrical boot. Yes, sir. <laughs> he did it fast. Yeah. Because Satan, whose name means worship, mm -hmm. celebration, did not want any other beings celebrating God, so God kicked him out. Now, yes, sir. This. Go ahead, go ahead. In the Bible, you know how you get happy because you know what you're about to say? Yeah. <laughs> In the Bible, there are three named angels. That's right. Three named angels. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, the yeah. first angel is Michael, yeah. who's the angel of warfare. Yes, sir. Whenever you see Michael in scripture, he's always fighting. No. Yes, sir. All right. The second angel you see is Gabriel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see Gabriel in the Bible, he's always given a word. Yes, sir. Yeah. Michael, warfare. Gabriel, word. The third angel name was, as we interpreted, Lucifer. Yes, sir. The angel of light. Oh, That's right. Because he was in charge of worship. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
but he got kicked out of heaven. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, preacher. Come on. come on, preacher. Come on now. Michael is still the angel of warfare. Yes, sir. All right. Gabriel is still the angel of the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that God is seeking somebody to worship him. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Yes, sir. Why? Because worship got kicked out of heaven. Man, and man. since he's seeking yes sir somebody to worship him you then become what Satan used to be oh. yes sir a worshiper yeah. all right all right so make it that's plain why the devil is messing with you because he's mad at you yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you praise and worship God you remind him of the job that he lost all yes, right sir. all right you better That's teach right. Bolton. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, so that's why your worship got to be real. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you can't come to church like you some Congress. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Like you woke God up this morning. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell it, tell it. The Bible says his praise shall continually be on. Oh, my lips. Yes, sir. Be in my mouth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preach. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Yes, sir. And all. I don't mean to get happy this time. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's just a thought. Yeah. When I think of it. Yeah. My, 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 So, number one, we see the real name of God. Number two, look in your Bible. We see the revealing nature of his glory. Mm -hmm. The revealing nature of his glory. Even though I just read the first word, most of you all already know this story. Yes, sir. The story about the woman at the way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chapter 3 of John and chapter 4 of John are considered the most beloved books in the Bible. All right. Chapter 3 and chapter 4. In chapter 3 of John, we see an interview with a man. Mm -hmm. In chapter 4, we see the interrogation of a woman. All right. In chapter 3, we see where Jesus talks about salvation. Mm -hmm. In chapter 4, we see what he gives salvation to a woman. All right. In chapter 3, we see where Jesus explains himself. But in chapter 4, to a woman, we see what Jesus reveals himself. All right. And Jesus is revealing himself to a Samaritan woman. That's right. To a Samaritan woman. Now, he was a Jew, and she was a Samaritan. That's right. Mm -hmm. History records that there should be no concord, no conversation between these two <coughs> ethnic groups. Right. That's Amen. right. That's Amen. right. But Jesus makes rules. Mm -hmm. He don't have to follow rules. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he speaks to this woman, and when he approaches her, this Samaritan woman. Now, Samaritans, you hardly ever hear about them in these, this day. It's only approximately a thousand of them left in the world. Only a thousand Samaritans left. Because there's a lot of inbreeding, or what we call incest. So many times, if a person inbreeds or commits incest, and they have a certain disease, whoever they are incesting with gets that disease so that wipes that particular generation off. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, they have mental incapabilities and they co commit incest and have a child. That child also has that mental disorder. Mm -hmm. So they are dying off because they refuse to stop inbreeding. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they're also dying off because they are crazy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Right. Amen. Make so it plain. Jesus knew about this woman. Mm -hmm. He knew her condition. 
and he knew her position. All right. But he still walks up to this woman in the heat of the day and says, give me some water. Right. All right. He speaks to the person who nobody else wants to speak to. All right. And he says, give me some water. Now, in, and, and just read it. I'm just going to go fast. In this particular pericope in this body, as he's speaking to this woman, dear heart, she begins, theologians say, to do two things. Number one, to sassy him. And number two, to flirt with him. Uh huh. And you'll see why as you read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as he interacts with this woman, she goes from sassying him mm -hmm. to desiring him to be her savior. All right. It is hard to come in contact with God and be the same. That's right. That's right. It is hard to come in contact with God and be the same. That's right. Nah, nah, nah. So we see this Samaritan woman who Jesus, as he indulges in conversation, and I'm just about done, as he indulges in conversation with this woman, he says to her, go and get your hook. Yeah. yeah. And she says, I don't have one. She told him the truth. Amen. And she says, you're right. You don't have one. You had five. Watch this. And the one that you got at home ain't your husband. That's right. Y'all, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, make it plain. Sister back there with, with the red stop on. Hit, hit me, hit me close. He said, you had five. And the one you got at home ain't your husband. That's right. But you're about to meet the seventh man. All right. Yes, sir. The one at home you got ain't your husband. You've had five, but you're about to meet the seventh man. Yes, sir. And if anybody know about the number of seven, Jesus about to make this woman complete. Yes, sir. All right. Aren't you glad that your scars don't disqualify you for God's grace? Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad that your past does not disqualify you from God's grace? Thank you, Lord. And look at this. He's speaking to a woman who he knows is sinful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Come on, both. He gives an audience <laughs> to a woman who is currently, the Bible says, living in her sin. Yes, sir. But he treats her with such love and grace. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you don't have to get happy about that fact. <laughs> that God can still use you in your mess. Yes, all sir. All right, all right. That's right. You don't have to get happy about that fact that, that God can take that mess and put some age on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And you become a message Amen. from the messenger. You don't have to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. But I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad that Charlotte Elliott said it this way. Don't know Charlotte Elliott? I'm going to tell you what she said when she read this particular verse. She said, just as I am. All right. All right. Without one plea. Come on here. But that thy blood yeah. was shed for me. For me. Right. My, and my, that my. Thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God. God. I, I come. come. All right. All right. And That's all right. You, you all can look up in here like you never seen. <laughs> like God never talked to you <laughs> when you were messing up. Yes, sir. Don't you sit here and act like that. Because you know you too will a grace case. My, yes, sir. My, my, yes, sir. And if it wasn't for God retching, as they say in West Texas, retching way down yeah. to pick you up, you will still be at the way. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 But we serve a God. Who loves us. Amen. 
We serve a God who cares. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And we see it in this particular verse. Because after, got five minutes, after the woman came in contact with God, after Jesus met her, watch this, not when she came to church, huh. but he met her exactly where she was. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's why the Great Commission says, go ye therefore. It didn't say, wait till they come here, All he there right for. Right. Go. Go. Yeah. yeah. Watch this. If that's the great commission, there means there was some lesser commissions. Uh -huh. All right. But he told us to fulfill the great. And watch this. God would never call us to do what he hadn't already done. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's no place you can go that God hadn't always uh -huh. already been. Uh -huh. That's why you got out that hospital bed because he prepared yeah. a table for Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. I'm closing. Uh -huh. So this woman says, after she tells her story, and Jesus tells the entire truth about her story. She says to Jesus, where can I go and worship? Because Samaritans believe there's actually a place of worship. They still do today. Mm -hmm. So she knew it by the mount, the reason, a mountain. Did y'all hear me? Yes. She says, Jesus, where is this mountain where I can go to worship you? All right. Jesus then says, you don't need a mountain. Because Samaritans are like some Carthians, Carthagens, <laughs> folks who live in Carthage, Texas. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Who believe there's a formula, a certain way or a certain place that you have to go to worship. All right. They look for, you got my back? Gotcha. They look for approval and attention from other folks. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. In order to worship. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But baby, if your worship is about anybody else, all right. your real audience is not God. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. If it takes you to be at church yeah. to worship, all right. Uh-huh. Watch this. It's in this scripture. You're not worshiping in spirit and in truth. Right. You're worshiping in spirit and deception. Yeah. My, 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 my. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, Bolton. Yeah. You don't need no mountain to worship. Yeah. You don't need the, no mountain to worship. That's right. That's right. All you right. need is a good memory to worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the best worship thing to care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was when you were driving all by yourself. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. And your favorite song come on. Yeah. yeah. And you got happy in your heart. Yeah. You lift your hands and you talk. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Your own sermon. Yeah. yeah. Sing your own song. Yeah. And you even raise your own offering. Yeah. yeah. God, thank you all by yeah. yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. it. That's it. Come on, preacher. Real worship. That's it, Bolton. And I'm done with this. First, we see the real name of God. Uh -huh. Secondly, we see the re revealing nature of his glory. All right. And finally, we see the response to his numerous goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Dear hearts, God has been good. All right. Thank you, Lord. Dear hearts, God currently is good. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And if you wake up in the morning, because the scripture says morning by morning, new mercies I see. Yes, sir. Not new mercies because you used up all of yesterday's yeah, yeah. mercies. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when you wake up in the morning, he God got some new mercies. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you wake up in the morning and he gets you up, he's still good. Yes, yes. 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 A whole batch of new yes. mercies. <laughs> So, Glory. I'm so glad that I don't have to have it all together. Yes, sir. To worship him. All right, all right. This woman, after she encounters Jesus, she goes back 
to tell other women about a man. Yeah. All right. You didn't get that. You didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. She goes back to tell other women about a man. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read this really closely, she's the last person that another woman want to hear her talk about a man. All right. All right. All right. All right. She's the yeah. last person. Mm -hmm. The last person. But watch this. The woman returns different this time. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Yeah. Because this time, dear hearts, she's not about to tell about a man who put her on her back to work it, but a man who put her on her face to worship. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all right. All right. It's different yeah, yeah. this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know that you're the only Bible that some folk don't ever read? Yes, sir. Yes, you yes want sir. To be different. Yes. Amen. This time. Mm -hmm. So she didn't care though. <laughs> Come but on, nobody preacher. thought about her. Yeah. yeah all right, no. She did not care what they had to say about her. All right. Uh -huh. Because this time, her worship was personal. All right. All right. Yes, her worship yes. was for real. Right. Yeah. And that's all worship is, is your opinion of God. All right. All right. All right. All right. An expression of what you feel about God. Uh -huh. That is worship. So it, 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 it is where you don't care what nobody think about you. Yes, sir. When they wake you up this morning, think about what they think yeah. about you. Yes, sir. When they start you on your way, yeah. think about what they but yeah. until they do. Yeah. You would worship God wherever you are. And if they look at you funny, shout on them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Hey. You didn't come to church to play no game. Right. All right. You could have played that at the basketball court. Right. My, my, you didn't my. come to church to, for folk to see what you got on. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Because you know if it wasn't for God who wrapped you yes. up, tied yes, yes, you up, and tangled you yes. up in this love, you wouldn't look as good as you look yes. and smell as good as you look. Thank yes, you, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. Speak to yes, sir. All right. Put my notes up when I say that. Mm -hmm. All right. Got yeah, happy to her. That's all right, preacher. That's all right. 2014, God healed me of a back injury. All right. That I had for 10 years. Uh huh. And I promised God that if He healed me of that back injury, every opportunity that I get, I was going to show how much He meant to me. All right. All right. All right. I was going to express my opinion. Yes, All right. Yes, so I got into a church over there in Atlanta. And at the church, God reminded me of what I told him. All right. So I stood up because I don't care. How, how